Bonnie's got, or we've got a big surprise for you. So anybody want to come over this way? Down there at the end? Nobody wants to come over this way, huh? Audrey, anybody? All right. I guess I'm you. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd like to tell you a story today of a little boy who cried wolf. This story is often called a fable. Have you ever heard of that word, fable? Good. Some of you have. Because this is a, there's a moral at the end of this story. How many out there have heard of the boy that cried wolf? Anybody ever done that, cried wolf? Yeah, well, my children are here. They'd be, well, Heather should be raising her hand, although she wasn't quite as bad as Crystal. Gorilla! So. Gorilla! Whoa, 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 whoa. Help, there's a huge dangerous whoa. gorilla coming, and I'm sure he's going to eat me and all the other sheep. There you are. Huh? Hold on a minute. We're trying to... Okay. You're interrupting my story, Barbara. Could it wait? No, it can't wait. There is a huge gorilla headed this way. Yeah. Well, is this your huge gorilla? Well... That little monkey. He looked bigger from a distance. Well, that's really funny, Barbara, because things usually look smaller in a distance. Sorry, won't bother you again. Well, I hope you're happy you made me look like a monkey. Well, as I was saying before our little interruption, a fable is a story with a moral at the end of it. It has a lesson to teach each of us about how to act toward others and how to behave, behave properly. Help! Help! You gotta save me! I'm being followed. Oh my gosh. What do you mean you're being followed? It's a stalker. I know it is. He's sitting over there on the hill. And he's looking at all of us sheep. He just sits there and looks at us, you know, very suspicious. Right. Does he have a long stick in his hand that's curved at the top? Well, yeah. How did you know? Have you been followed by the same guy? He's out to get oh us. My gosh. We better run. Yeah, right. Wait, 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 Barbara. This guy's a shepherd, as a matter of fact. I think he's the one that's in charge of your flock. He's here to take care of you. Well, yeah, I knew that. I was just testing you. Right. And you passed. Congratulations. I think I'll just mosey along and join the herd. Herd of sheep? Well, of course I've heard of sheep. I happen to be one, you know. Hmm. Yes, I know. But it's called a flock of sheep, not a herd of sheep. Yeah, well, okay, see ya. All right, now back to the story. Hopefully we won't get interrupted again. Once upon a time, there was a boy who liked to cause lots of excitement in town. When he got tired of watching the sheep all day, he would come running into the market square, yelling, woof, woof and pretend there's a big wolf attacking the sheep. Then the townspeople would run in to the hills to save the sheep, and of course, what do you think? There was no wolf there. So one day, a wolf finally did come, but by then, no one believed the boy. And the moral of the story is what? Never cry wolf. Wool! Wool! <laughs> I just heard that there was a huge ball of wool headed this way. It's going to decimate the entire church. And that's worse. I'm allergic to wool. <laughs> but Barbara, you're covered with wool. Wool is what sheep grow all over their bodies. What? Well, well, no wonder I'm sneezing all the time. Are you sure you're not supposed to be crying woof? Why? Why would I want to be afraid of a wolf? Because wolves eat sheep. Oh, no, they don't. They only eat cupcakes. That's what I heard. Right. No, they eat sheep. They don't. Yes, they do. They don't. Ah, uh, they do. No way. 
Yes way, they do. It's eat, true. Eat me? Yep. Lamb stew. Achoo. Bless you. Well, then, what's all this garbage about cupcakes? Well, you told that wolf that he only eats cupcakes. Well, just this morning I was hiking up to the top of the Wolf Mountain, and I met a big, furry, long-legged dog, and he told me that. Uh, that was a wolf. No, it was a dog. He said so. He even told me what breed. What kind of dog was it? He was a Chihuahua from Mexico. <laughs> uh, I don't know if the Chihuahua was there. Well... Why are you so smart all of a sudden? Because chihuahuas are tiny little dogs with very short hair. Well, maybe he was a very big chihuahua. I know he was from Mexico because he spoke spinach to me. You mean Spanish? That's what I said. Well, did he say, what did he say to you in Spanish? He said, bonjour. Uh, that's not Spanish, that's French. Oh. Oh boy, you mean to tell me that I was out there talking to a real live big hairy wolf? Yep, afraid so. He sure pulled the wool over your eyes. <laughs> well, that explains the puddle of drool on the ground under his mouth. I thought that perhaps he was just teething. And he ran off when he saw the shepherd. Uh, if you excuse me, I think we're going to faint. Barbara, are you okay? Barbara, she's out cold. Does anyone have a glass of water? Anyone? Oh, whew. sorry. I just get so nervous and scared about everything. Do you think I worry too much? Uh, yes, I think you do. You do know that you have a good shepherd who cares about you and is always watching over you. Yes, I know that Jesus is a good shepherd, but sometimes I guess I forget to trust him. You really don't have to worry about giant gorillas or huge balls of wool. Jesus will take care of you. But doesn't Jesus tell his disciples in Matthew 10, 16, Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. You're right. The world can be a dangerous place, but Jesus has promised to be with us and always to protect us from the wolves of the world. Jesus tells his disciples, and this is the last verse in the book of Matthew, I am with you always, even to the very end of time. Well, that is very helpful, and I will remember that. You know, if I don't have to spend so much time worrying about things, I'll have enough time to take up a hobby, like knitting. Wow, that's a great idea, because you'll have no shortage of wool. Well, that's for sure, and I think I'll get started right away. Thanks for talking. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Barbara. See, we just need to believe in the Good Shepherd Jesus, who watches over us all the time. Okay, that's the end of the story. <laughs> okay, now if you remember what Miss Bonnie said earlier, you guys are going to go up to your classes and then come down later and she's got something for you, okay? You can go ahead up with Miss Connie and 